This is my blade review of my Cloud Hammer S5 Shock Steel Jet Shishi. Let's start here in the Kashira. So far, the Kashira is quite tight, but my problem is it's a little bit big, as you can see. Leather wrappings are good. As I'm putting force, it's quite tight. And you can, here you can see the Lion Dog, Inuki. And from here you can see there's there are no spaces on how they wrap their tuka. Length of the blade. The tuka or handle, 12 inches. Thickness of the blade and the base. And from here, it's two inches below of the tip of the blade. And here is the scabbard, as you can see. This is the Sageo. It's high quality, but a little bit loose in this area. Now, the sharpness test. S5 shock steel. I dismantled my katana and Habaki Tsuka Tuba It's heavy though Sepa and the bamboo pegs Instead of bamboo pegs, they use a plastic one. And here you go. As you can see, it's all full tang. My thoughts on the sword. Uh, overall, I like the build, build quality of the katana on how they make it from the wrapping and the metal itself. I, I like it. My only concern is the pegs and that's it. You, you can always just change it to a bamboo or wood peg so you can maintain your sword well and that's it. Thank you.